Hey, what up fuckers? It's your boy Abel from Project Rogue coming at you today with another script breakdown video. In this series, we break down the scripts that are live within Project Rogue. We show you how they work and we show you some core functionalities of the script. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. In today's video, we will be breaking down our brand new housing system that releases on October 7th, 2022 at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video we have a lot to cover this features everything that was great in 1.0's housing system and completely revamps the look and feel of housing in project rogue with all of that being said please do keep in mind that it takes three seconds to hit the like button and takes 30 seconds to drop a comment in the comment sections below letting me know what your favorite part of this video was each Dynasty A agent will start off their career right here in this headquarters. This is the boss's office where all of the stuff will basically get done for employee management. This allows the boss to look at his computer through their third eye and completely manage funds, deposit funds, fire, hire, and also give their employees bonuses. Here we can give a $5,000 bonus to this employee and they don't even have to be online to receive it. Here we can also manage our employees job grade by simply hitting the cascading windows and as you see right here, they were moved. Firing is just as easy if we simply just hit the X, we hit the yes button and they are fired and off of our roster. All right, now that's how managers and bosses will manage their employees. Now I'm gonna go ahead and showcase the actual creation of housing, apartments, and how you actually sell them. First, I'm going to showcase the creation of an apartment complex. This is a completely new system within our housing system and one of the biggest portions of the update. This allows the creation of a property that is able to be bought by multiple people or a group of people. With this new ability, this uses instancing, which allows players to essentially be in the exact same room in the exact same apartment, but not see each other. This also opens the doors to one of our most exciting updates in the housing update, and that is live interiors with actual windows that you can see out of without further ado let's go ahead and show you real estate agents will hit their tilde menu and go to their d8 and their tablet menu this will then populate a menu that is easy to read and easy to understand the send a bill feature is how real estate agents will bill players for properties transfer a property allows real estate agents to transfer live properties rent a property is how dealers will make properties rentable Create a property will circle back around to. Create walk-in property will allow dealers to create MLOs on the fly. And of course, the last one, remove a property, which is an awesome feature released in this update. To start off with, let's go to create a property. Here, another menu will populate that is, again, easy to read and easy to understand. The top one will let you set the property entrance and displays a blip where that entrance will be. We then can set our garage entrance and our garage exit points. Do note that the direction that you are facing will set the heading value for the vehicle when it spawns in. If you look closely here inside of the marker, it will show an arrow on which way the vehicle will spawn when you take a vehicle out of this garage. Next, we can select our interior. With this new update, we have released over a hundred new shells and instance properties that you can see out of. Most of the subcategories include shells, however, the miscellaneous interiors will feature all of the instance interiors, which allow players to see outside of. There are a ton of options, so a D8 agent will be your best route on figuring out what type of property is going to best fit your needs. Here, we will pick Eclipse Towers Floor 30. The agent will then set a rent amount if someone wants to rent this property. Here, we will set the rent for 15,000. After you are done, make sure to hit submit. A notification will appear in your top right, and now we can go ahead and add that property. Next, it will ask us if we wanna do a house or an apartment. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and showcase an apartment, but a house will be a single purchase where an apartment will allow multiple people to purchase it. Both houses and apartments can be rented. Here, it's going to ask us for our apartment complex name. I'm gonna call this Eclipse Towers, and we're gonna go ahead and call it 430. The last step being our property price. So here, you can place anything. The property price is what someone will actually buy the property for. So if a player does not wanna pay rent, they wanna just buy the property straight out, they can either pay this price, or they're going to pay every single week 
the rent price that you saw before. If you did everything right, a nice purple circle will display and now the player can walk into it and they can open up the menu. Regular players will be able to enter their friend's apartments. However, this one has no people living in it, so we wanna purchase or rent. If we see here, we have to contact a D8 agent to rent or buy. We see the property price and we see how much it is to rent. We can also preview the interior and this does allow for multiple people to view one interior altogether. You will then instance into the interior and now you can walk about. This part of the update is truly one of a kind and will offer a ton of roleplay options to players in picking where they want to live. Players are no longer conformed and living in a shell, but now they feel as if they are living in the real world and it feels a lot more immersive to be able to see the live world and what's going on down there below. To paint a picture for you, let's say that Air One was driving past this window right now. We would actually see Air One driving past our window and we would see them chasing whatever car they were chasing. All instanced interiors come with predetermined set locations for areas where they can change and where they can store items. All in all, most instance properties hold up to 400 kilograms and offer eight different locations to store items along with two different locations to change. The possibilities are truly endless on this update when it comes to instance properties and will change the game on how you live in Project Rogue. Once you are done previewing an interior, hitting the backspace button will take you back to the entrance and now we can either determine if we want to buy this or not. Here we will feature our brand new renting system. So if we wanted to rent this place, a DA agent would open up their tablet. They would go to rent a property and this is how they will rent. If they wanted to bill someone, that would be to buy the property. However, we want to rent the property to the player. So let's go ahead and hit rent a property. We will then find the player's name. So my name is unknown unknown. And the ID for this apartment is one. So we'll just go ahead and hit one in here. We'll hit submit. And we have successfully rented it out to the player. And now the player will be charged $15,000 every week seven days from now. The player can then visit the circle, they can hit E, and then they can either enter their apartment, copy their keys, change their locks, transfer their apartment to another player, manage their rent or pay their rent. They can see their apartment ID and they can also enter their friend's apartment. Here, we'll go ahead and enter the apartment. Now that we are in, we can go ahead and visit any one of the eight locations inside of this apartment to be able to store our items. If you simply walk around, a display text will pop up when you're close to a storage, you hit G, and now we can place an item inside of here. Simply walking around this apartment, we can see that we have multiple storages to place multiple items in. Visiting most closets will then pop open a wardrobe where all of your saved outfits will show. I just don't have any outfits saved. Revisiting the front door, you will open it up and you can either let someone in, you can see your apartment ID, or you could leave your apartment. Here, we have another one of our brand new instance interiors. As you see, it's a pretty nice interior and I wanna go ahead and I wanna actually purchase this. I don't wanna rent it. To do so, a DA agent will have to be present and it's quite simple for the agent. Let's go ahead and walk through it. The DA agent will start by opening up their tablet and making sure that they hit send a bill. Remember, this sells the property. We'll hit the character's name and then we wanna make sure that we hit the right ID. So this is two and here we have sent a bill. So now the person buying the property will need to open up their contracts. If we do slash bills command, this will open up our contracts. We can see all past negotiations or present negotiations. Here under unsigned, we see that we have an invoice and here we see what we need to pay. Here you can actually utilize the signing function and actually sign your name right here. Once the player hits the sign button, they will then automatically have the money taken out of their bank account and now the D8 agent can transfer the property into their name. The DA agent will open up their tablet and hit transfer a property. The player's name will display. They hit the property ID, which is two. And we have successfully sold our first property. This housing update was a blast to work on and we are so proud to present it to you at Project Rogue. On screen is just a small first glance at what you can expect and what you will see at Project Rogue for your instance interiors or the interiors that you can see out of. What you are seeing here is quite literally only 5% of what we are bringing and what we have to offer. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we are bringing 40 plus properties that you will be able to see out of. So it's quite an extensive update and going to be huge 
for your living situation in Project Rogue. Again, this is just one portion of the housing update that you get to look forward to and the instant scene is quite a big feature to showcase. Next, we will show you the revamped shelling system that we have for Project Rogue. The new shelling system offers a plethora of new shells to pick from along with plenty of new features for players to enjoy. First, to start off with, our DA agent will need to open up their tablet, and then we simply will create a new property just like we were doing before. You will again set entrance, garage exits, and garage entrance points all around the house. Once we are done with that, we can go ahead and start selecting our interiors. In this showcase, I'm just going to show you high-end housing interiors because there's a ton of them, and this will show all features that we need to show you. As you can see, there are a ton of options to pick from. It would be impossible for a DA agent to show you every single one of these in a timely manner. That's why we've introduced any interior. This is a new feature that DA agents can set up to allow players to look at multiple shells at one time. We will set our rent and our property prices. Here, we are going to set down a house. It's not gonna be an apartment. It's going to be a one-time buy. Only one person can live or rent this location. Now that we have the structure of the house picked out, now our client can go up to the circle, they can go ahead, preview the interiors, and they will be able to look at multiple interiors all at once. Here, as you can see in the top left, we have previewing interiors, one out of 25. We can use our left and right arrows to be able to cycle through the interiors, and then we can hit backspace whenever we're done previewing. Cycling through interiors is super easy. We can go ahead and showcase that. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this process a little bit, but I'll showcase us going through some interiors. Remember, these are shells and not instanced properties. You'll see a lot of these are retextured properties that you might have noticed from our previous 1.0 build. A quick note to make is that we fixed all of the lighting and the shadow issues. So in the previews, you will still see the weird shadows and the weird lighting. However, now after you purchase it, it spawns them underneath the map and gets rid of all the unrealistic lighting. Now that we have showed you just a small glimpse of some of the new interiors and the new shells that we have, we're gonna go ahead and sell this shell property. Again, just like before, we will open up our DA tablet. We go to rent or transfer the property. Here, we're gonna rent this house. This is house seven. We'll go ahead and hit submit. And here we can pick whatever interior our client picked. So let's go ahead and say that they picked this one. We'll go ahead and set that and now they have their house. Now remember, we are in a shell house, meaning that we can furnish this. So now we need to go to the furniture store and buy some furniture for the place. Now that we're warped on over to the Ikea, we can go ahead and enter the Ikea and buy some furniture. The first section that says storages, these items allow you to store stuff at your house, will allow you to store stuff inside of them or change your clothes with the wardrobe. We have also now placed at the bottom, as you can see the second option from there, you will see how much kilograms that item holds. All right, we got our furniture. Now we can head on back to our property and we can start furnishing it. To furnish your home, it's super easy. Simply go to the circle at the front of your house when you're inside and you can go to furnish or anywhere in the house, you can do slash furnish command. Once you do that, you will see all furniture that you have purchased. Here we have both of these items so we can walk anywhere we want. And if we hit G, it's gonna teleport this item to us. So walk wherever you want. Let's say we want it right here. We hit G, it teleports the item to us and then all of the prompts in the top left are accurate. So simply just use those prompts and you will be able to place this object wherever you want. Once you have the perfect place for your furniture, go ahead and place it. And now we can hit G, we can either open up the storage or we can hit our wardrobe. And that is pretty much the shell housing. It is now all done through a centralized menu and it is centralized around hitting a button in front of the furniture. So it's super optimized and it allows for the players to have one centralized menu for everything in the entire experience. Last, but certainly not least, we will showcase the MLO support that the script offers. This allows our Dynasty 8 agents to essentially help development and setting up MLO support for all of our MLOs without development having to touch a thing. Here, we're gonna work on the Rolling 60s block. This is a new MLO that will drop the same day that this script does. So let's go ahead and use the new MLO support and show you how we set it up. The Dynasty A agent will again open up their tablet and head on down to the bottom option where it says create walk-in MLO. To do that, we go ahead and we find where we wanna set the entrance. I'm gonna go ahead and set the entrance to this place at the back. So let's go ahead and drop the marker right here. And then let's go ahead and drop an entrance and an exit point for our garage. 
Once we have those markers placed, now we want to go ahead and lock the doors of entry. Simply walk up to the door, hit add a door, highlight the door, and add it. Once you have added the door right on the index point, it'll say door one. So now let's go to the front and we're gonna go ahead and add another door. Again, walk up to the door, hit add, highlight the door and simply add it. Now what we can do is add our wardrobe and storage areas. You can add as many wardrobe or storage areas. Here, I'm only gonna do one for this demonstration. Once you have found a good location for a wardrobe or storage, simply hit the option and it'll lay down a marker. Repeat that same process for the storage or wardrobes if you're laying down multiple. And just like that, we have now made an MLO supported house. We can go ahead and we set the rent amount. We can set it to whatever we want. We hit add property for this house name. We'll just do rolling 60s. And of course, we will set the price for whatever we're selling it for. So this will just set it there. And now we are good to go. To sell the MLO, a D8 agent will open up their tablet. They hit send a bill, hit in the ID of the MLO. And now the player will go to their bills. Once the DA agent has been notified that the player has paid their bill, they will open up their tablet, they transfer the property, they type in the property ID, and it's now the player's. Once a player has purchased an MLO, they will then see the prompt to unlock the door and they can walk in. What this does is open up the possibility for players to own MLOs without having to own key items. They can change the locks, they can give out keys to their friends, and then they can wipe them completely all in one menu. This is a huge step for Project Rogue and a huge step in the right direction for players who own properties to be able to manage them. And there you have it, Project Rogue. That is a quick sneak peek of our brand new housing system that drops October 7th at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you yourself are watching this video and you want to be able to do these things within roleplay or you're looking for a great 5M roleplay server that believes in serious, high quality roleplay for adults, then look no further. Head on over to www.projectrogueroleplay.com today or head on over to discord.gg slash projectrogue. You won't be disappointed. Ladies and gents, we have a lot to prepare for this update, so I'm going to leave you with this. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you guys are at in the world. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.